Sí. <laughs> right, we're live. A uh, bit of a last minute stock con thing, guys. Um, to make it tonight to host the Beer Tubers number 11, I think it is. So I just thought I'd step in. Um, we haven't really got a topic as such tonight. We're just going to be just talking a load of beer waffle. Um, guys, introduce yourself. I'll start. All right, I'll start then. All right, so I'm James from Rampant Line Reviews. I'm drinking uh, this guy here, St. Arnold's Brewing Company from Houston in Texas. White noise, quite a nice wee, easy going. Uh, wet beer is like, I heard a lot of you guys in your reviews about wet beers talking about bubblegum flavours. I've never really noticed it properly until this one. This one really is quite like bubblegum and wheat and stuff. It's quite nice. Cool. Cool. Uh, I'm Jake. What? I'm um, from Jake O Beer, and uh, I'm drinking Craft Beer Classic. Now I'm going for a Cigar City Highlight. Good stuff. Just like ah. Classic old school IPA. Still holds up. Still tastes great. So why not? <laughs> nice. I'm I'm Craig from uh, Kent Beer Reviews. Um, Got Portuguese beer still being out here. This is a saison from Duas Corvus. They're out of Lisbon. Uh, it's five point two percent. It's kind of a it's kind of weak saison. It's gonna be a good entry level if you're not used to that kind of style. Which I'm kind of probably just beyond that, but not not far. But yeah, it's it's tasting not too bad. That's one of the few I've got lined up for. For chat, so yeah, but, yeah, I'm out here visiting family and stuff. So originally from Ramsgate in Kent, so mm. nice. And I'm Gareth from Gravy's Brew Reviews, and just as we came on air, I opened this uh, Caledonian Coast to Coast. Don't really know much about it. It's the first time I've had it. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm the standing host for tonight's Dean Field Views. Um, I am on a Sadler's Peaky Blinder. Black IPA. Very, very nice. Easy going to cheap as chips. <laughs> do me. Um, got a Rev, Rev James as well. I've opened their mm. rye. Another cheap beer, which has got nice. quite a bit going on with it, to be honest. Lovely clear bottle. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, Jake, I almost, <laughs> I almost opened my one as well tonight. Oh, really? Uh, you've had it before, yeah. though. You've, you've, you've reviewed oh, it before, haven't you? No, not this. Oh, no. Not, oh. no, not me. No, not I've never had it before. Well, you've done 500, no. so it's hard to keep up with, uh, <laughs> with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a... It was a I was debating whether to have that or the one I had, so I was like, oh. It's, yeah, um, I, it's gonna... it's, um, I had the high uh, at the at Malmo Brewing Company the other day with my pal, and then um, we we, were, we tasted it. We were actually kind of quite disappointed with it because it didn't. Because I'm interested to see what you guys think of it in the can because when we tried it, it just didn't have. I don't know if it's meant to be a big hoppy bitter beer or if it's one of these juicier IPAs or like what is it like in the can? Um, I I think it drinks quite nice. I, I said I reviewed it before we came on air and and I said in the review that I would have gone absolutely mad for it like a couple of years ago. I think like the sort of it's mm. of, like of its moment sort of thing. Um, but it, it, it's not like massively hoppy. But then again, it's not like massively juicy. It's quite a balance. I thought it's quite a balanced sort of toffee caramel malt mixed with some nice like orange zesty hops so uh yeah, yeah that's that's what i got it didn't like blow me away but it's like still still decent yeah i mean i'm, I'm waiting for yeah. a bit of, i was going to do it this evening and then i just started to get a bit noisy so I'm like ah, it's good beer. I want it to be background bell you know <laughs> um so i might i might i might do it outside when, when the weather's a bit better yeah, I won't be doing any uh, 
be reviews outside anytime soon. <laughs> no, we're not, not there, but here. Yeah. <laughs> Get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to make the most of it. I'm coming back on the 27th. So. Got it. Ah, okay. So yeah, the, the, the weather here uh, got stuck on the M25 the other day, coming back from Canterbury. Had to had to had to pull off and um, stay in a hotel in Rochester because my, my my missus just wasn't happy driving, so I just had to just like get off the road and because the snow was, it, was mad was on the M25. Was it quite was it quite bad then the snow? Can Canterbury was like ridiculous. It was that it was on the news like the next day, like on the national oh. news, like um so like and we we left just as it started to absolutely career down. Because only about fifteen good. miles from me, it even snowed where I live. So yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it must be bad. If it's, we yeah. we get snow everywhere else. We'll get snow. Yeah, because we never get it. We, we always <laughs> no, miss exactly. it or something. So it's like kind yeah. of being near the sea. It's just it's just a few degrees warmer. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was uh, I was thinking oh, it'd be good to be in Portugal right now as I was sitting on the M25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sad because. My little girl's never seen the snow. We're out here, so it's kind of a bit, it's a bit annoying. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more. Yeah, it, it wasn't like good snow. It was like shitty snow. <laughs> shit, shit like, snow. Yeah, sludgy, icy, horrible. Yeah, crap. the wrong type yeah. of snow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I hate it when you get the snow and it just rains and turns to ice. Like if it's going to snow, it's kind of like if it's going to snow. Do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <coughs> so you, yeah. you're back in um, Sweden now, James? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And no, I've been back now maybe over a week, like maybe ten days or something. Oh, okay, okay. But not sorry, it lies. I came back on the ninth. That's the week. It's a week now. Yeah. Sure. So. Uh, cool. Yeah, no, it's just I started my classes again today, so. Yeah, just kind of bobbing along, doing, I'm doing some sort of, I'm doing a couple of environmental science and physics things this, this semester, so that'll be quite interesting, and um, I find a sort of beer job either in Malmö or in Copenhagen, and just kind of getting in and around and see what's going on. I reckon Copenhagen would be a good bet, by the sounds of it. Yeah, well that, I need to watch out for that because of all this kind of EU rubbish. I need to see if I can register for work in Denmark quite soon because I think, uh, depending on what deal's done, um, I'm, I can work in Sweden, no bother, but I don't know what the deal is with Denmark, so I need to figure that out and maybe register now so if I was to come back, I can I can do it quite easily. So. Yeah, it's... Because if, if I get registered now, then I don't have users and stuff, so... Time, times are a bit weird at the moment, and they? They're, I don't know. Quite uneasy about the world at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a bit up in the air, isn't it? It's fucking mental, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> people are people, isn't it? It's just like yeah. It's four. Well, it's four days until Trump. <laughs> so. Oh, God, I can't wait. <laughs> he ain't doing too bad no, already, no. is he? Really? <laughs> to be fair. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, we've not got a rod with us now, no? <laughs> no, no, that's what I thought. It's like, no, that's, uh, that's our host. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. get him joining in a little bit. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Just pop on occasion, it doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, joined him, I joined him on one of his things during the night last week. Uh, he was with the, the last day, Tanya from California. Tanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah quite, was, nice, quite nice, quite yeah. nice people. There was the guy Eric from Massachusetts who reviews as well. Um, he, he did have his guitar and his harmonica. Same thing. Like <laughs> and uh, there was uh, Jordan from. Uh, he was there for a little bit, but he went away a bit earlier. And, uh, yeah. They're quite sports fans, aren't they, some of them? So. Yeah, yeah, because there, there was another guy there who I think has been on one of the Hangouts before. He told us his name, but I, I can't remember what his name is. I think it's maybe an, it's Eric. Eric. Eric yeah. Ryan's fan. Yeah. 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 No, I've yeah, been on one... Nice. Just before Christmas, I joined them for a, a Thursday morning or Friday morning thing. Because I was like, I had the opportunity to, so I was like, yeah. 
just crack on for a change and it's quite strange yes. opening the beer at two in the morning but... <laughs> That's quite cool to join in with them a little bit. We should see if we can get the likes of a uh, Swilling Grog from Australia on. Like maybe they've got, they, maybe they've got a big enough time difference that we could catch them in the morning or something. Because they are, I think they're ten night. I think they're maybe ten hours ahead of the UK. So you might catch them at like six or seven in the morning. It's not point. Maybe worth trying. Yeah. And and Swill, uh, Swill and Grog, the Aussie guy. I forget what his first name is, but he's he's a beer reviewer that does quite a few things. He's a nice guy, actually. I've spoken to him a couple of times. Okay. There's a guy. There's a guy from uh, Tasmania as well. Um, I've, I can't remember what his channel's called, though. I'm subscribed to it, and it pops up in my feed, but it's gone right out my head. Um, but he, he might be. He would probably be game for it as well. There's a lot. Of, his his channel's really interesting to watch because. There's a lot of, Tasmania is a, a little bit like a kind of, it's like New Zealand, you know, there's whiskey, there's, um, there's lots of random little breweries opening up just because, you know, they've got the climate for it, you know. So his channel, I think his channel is really one to watch in that because you'll learn about a lot of random little breweries down there. There's the guy who does the 60 second beer reviews, is he Australian or is he New Zealand? Have you come across him? Um, I've not seen that, um, let, let me stick that in uh, YouTube. I, I, yeah, I do. I, I subscribe to him. His, his, um, his, his review is pretty good. Yeah, he tries to do them in like 60 seconds, but they're always, they're always over. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it's quite good getting like, an insight into the beers you can't necessarily get because they're like, lo like really lo mega local. Oh, ah, yeah from uh, from New Zealand these days um, you know Brewdog are, are uh, they're brewing quite a few things under license like Yeasty Boys I don't know if they're doing two Atara and 8 wire or stuff as well like that yeah I, I don't know if I don't they know get if... out of their um, Brewdog stuff whether, whether Brewdog use their premises to brew their beers out there or like so it's vice versa so they, they, they brew mm. their beers up in Ellen well, Alan, how do you pronounce it? But, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, come out and go back in again because I'm not sure if it's me, my internet here. Be back in a second. Cool. No, there's some, there's some pretty. I mean, New Zealand probably is one of the best beer countries around at the moment. But Australia, you know, since I was in Australia like two years ago, like there's a lot more uh, breweries opened up there. Like when I was in Cairns. To see the reef, like there was one brewery that just shut down, but now there's like three or four of them, and they weren't there the last time I was there. So there's a lot of growth, you know, in the last like yeah. two years or so. I think there's this kind of just gone. Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of I've had like a lot of New Zealand, like the like the major like New Zealand breweries, but can't think if I've ever actually had like an Australian an Australian like craft beer. Can't I think. I see, see, to be honest, I think the only ones, the only one that you're maybe going to find over here now, and I saw this in Glasgow, it was Pirate Life who are from Adelaide in South Australia. Um, but maybe, I've I mean, I've got... Got... Uh, I've, I've had a few Sorry? yeasty boys, I've had a few yeasty boys from New Zealand, but I've had nothing mm. else. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, two attackers be coming over. There's a garage project. I don't know if you guys get them over there, but we insist in the log that we get the, uh, the little garage project cans. Wait, I've, seen a few. I've seen a few, but it's not like a huge amount. Yeah, I get, yeah. get, get some of the uh, eight wired. They're, they're becoming quite numerous now. Yeah. Well, one, one of the best beers you'll find from eight wired, I had it on tap when I was there, it was. Uh, this, it really got me into the Imperial Red style. If you try a beer called First Blood from them, that's cracking. That's a really top beer that one. Sure, it's, just, yeah. it's a monster. It's like 9 or 10 percent, but it feels, you know, it's just this big caramel malt. It just feels so boozy, and it's got these, like these you know, just, you know, the New Zealand hops have that really 
sort of juicy tropical fruit kind of thing going. It's just so it's just distinctive from the American yeah. box. It's just like that. It's it's, it's really beautiful stuff. I've never seen it in bottle. I think they do bottle it, but we just don't get it. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the uh, ice stout. The, the sort of like big imperial stout, right? Wired. Yeah. That's, it's really good. It's, it's like I quite like it when like stout, like imperial stouts are just imperial stouts, like there's nothing added, and they and they just hold up on their own. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've actually. Uh, Jay, did you get one of the the, the nine of the beers actually? Yeah. Did you get one of those? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I filmed my review, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> so you look at that one and see that and see that. I just, my one's going to publish at the end of uh, January, but I got like, uh, I, I decided I had three big imperial stouts, so I was like, I'll do one from Sweden, one from uh, Denmark, and one from Norway, just like really coming back. It was pretty, pretty good, actually. I've got I had one from Holland, and it's been discontinued because it was called Vladimir P. And Army Russians threatened to shut down the breweries and website and stuff like that because it took the blur of the thing to be passed out there, basically. So it was quite funny. Was that the uh, one that. Um, did Peter get bothered of that, or was that you posted the picture of it? I know that one. Yeah, it was me. It was that one. Yeah. 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 Looked good. Pretty neat. Oh, that, that was a cracker, that yeah. That was really good. <laughs> You're right, Rob. Evening. What up, Rob? Hello, Robert. Hi. What are you drinking? I ain't got, I ain't got a hell of a lot left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fridge, um, um, I'm trying not to buy beer <laughs> in January. People can give up drinking. I just try not to buy any packaged bottles or cans. Um, I've just because I, I, I had so much left over from Christmas and then all that stuff from that trade. Um, so a respectable amount. I think I might just kind of manage. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna save money for. Um, to get over to, uh, for me Airbnb in Copenhagen and ticket for Beaver Town. That's my, my first one. Really. Why are you doing that? Hopefully, yes. Saturday, me at the aim is I've got some friends going down. Well, you'll have met them at the Triangle. A couple of lads from Triangle are going, so um, okay. Yeah, I'll be going down with them, staying with them. I think in, a, in an Airbnb. Okay. That's the plan at the moment. Okay. Is that the extravaganza in September, Rob? Yes. Or is that the uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to no, hold out and see if I can get some tickets next month if there's still some left. But, That's uh, it. I want to know how much money I've got left at the end of the month. You mean 50 exactly. quid? It's a chunk of change, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I've, yeah, I've got other things to like get in the meantime. But I, yeah. I, 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 bit like, because I, I mean, I paid for the um, going to the Beaver Town birthday thing in February. Right. Um, and then when this came up, I was like, oh, man, I think I would have preferred to go to the extravaganza. But yeah, yeah. I can't do it more. <laughs> it's cheap, it'd be cheap for me to do both days for the Beaver Town and going to the Leeds for the Leeds International. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean Leeds International tickets are crazy cheap compared to that thing. But I mean the breweries that they've yeah. got going to that extravaganza is uh, yeah. crazy. Yeah, and it's, it's, amazing. it's essentially CBC, but in in, the, in London. So yeah, I mean the lineup for CBC it's very similar lineup to CBC. Yeah. Yeah, have to. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to endeavour to go if I can get a ticket, but they probably might be gone by then. Yeah, that's the danger, isn't it? Rolling the yeah. dice. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I mean, if, if if it's to go, you can compare it. I mean, there are still tickets available for um, CBC, so I mean that that's known to be to sell out like like in 30 minutes usually. But there's still some tickets knocking around yeah. online for CBC. I mean, yeah. It's because it's not a cheap ticket. I mean. It's like like Indie Man sells that in no time, but Indie Man's like twelve quid. You don't think you don't really think twice about oh twelve quid. No. Yeah. But, um, thing, I mean, it's it's even if I can't go, it don't matter. There's so much choice, isn't there, about which ones you can go to? I think that that's the that's the thing. I mean, like so Beaver Town as introduced like a brand new one that's 
never been done before, and it's the same weekend as um, it's yeah. the same weekend as Leeds International. Yeah, yeah. There's so, been a lot of talk of, of breweries who normally would be at Leeds, I mean, including Beaver Town. Beaver Town are usually at Leeds International, but there are a number of breweries who are in the awkward situation where it's like, well, I normally would have been at Leeds, but um, I've, I, I guess we've got to go to Beaver Town. So I think some will even make the, that kind of like decision to do both, or they'll do one or the other. So I mean, it's a, yeah. I'm sure the lure of the Beaver Town ones. Very enticing for most businesses. Yeah. Yeah, and I reckon they are more, more central as well for getting to the UK, I guess. Yeah. Um, I, 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 well, I mean, talking to someone who's doing, involved with organising something comparable, I would like to say comparable, but it's not. But, um, I mean, fucking hell, I mean, the amount of money they must be throwing at this. It's, I mean that venue alone. That venue impressive. alone has got to cost a cost a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. It's, it's, it's kind of Bermondsey way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's it's quite like a a big, a lot just huge events place. So it's just like a big huge hangar almost sort of thing. Like so, lots of lots of because it's like it's the print works, isn't it? That's where the Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah, it's quite a well-known sort of uh, events place. No, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I mean, but Beaver Town are kind of struggling for money, I think, that's why. <laughs> They're doing okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not doing so bad. It's, it's all like the 30 quid beanies that they sell <laughs> at the tap room. And stuff. <laughs> Like you do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, fair play to you. I mean, I mean, no, fifty quid seems like a lot. Um, I mean, CBC is even more expensive. But I think you can get decent value, really. But you can also spend. Um, you can spend your fifty quid and end up queuing for ages and ages exactly. to get like six beers. Yeah, to, yeah. to get trillion. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. What 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 do you do? Do you go? For, I I I personally go to other other breweries, and if I could get the Trillium, then good. But I'd, I'd, for my fifty quid, I'd want to try more because it's going to be a big yeah. queue. <laughs> exactly, and I think that when you have watched Peter doing his um, videos at um, CBC every year, he kind of he he does he does exactly that. He goes to stuff which is a little maybe not as well known. Um, and get some amazing stuff. It's like Jay Wakefield, who, uh, who have been announced for Beaver Town. Um, my mate had them when he was in, on holiday in Florida, Florida, and he absolutely loved it. So, um, but it, they don't have a name, I guess, in the same way that say Trillium have a name. So, chances are there won't be a massive queue there, but you can fucking queue for like twenty-five minutes and get your thimble full of something from Trillium. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've true. got a we've got a Russian beer festival coming up in Malmo, so that should be quite interesting. Um, they're bringing in there's ten brewers coming over from Moscow and St Petersburg and a few other things. So yeah. it's uh, and it's it's cheap as chips. And you don't, there's not actually like a ticket. You don't pay a ticket. You just buy like uh, you buy little tokens. It's like hundred crowns or eight tokens or something, and you get like a third pint of beer from whatever you want. It's actually really good value. Lashings of fatty I've had one. Du- I've had a double IPA from a Russian brewery, and it was really good. Can't, yeah. can't remember the name of it, but it was really, really damn good. Um, yeah, that might be. That's interesting co- coincidence. I've got a friend who essentially he, he's a kind of a, a bit of a middleman. Um, he set up, sets up kind of like import export deals at both at both ends, and he's Swedish, um, and but he does a lot of business in um, Russia. So I wonder if it, Andreas is behind it. That'd be hilarious if he is. But yeah, he's you he were also involved with them. Um, Did you know All In All In Brewing from Sweden? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's one of the people behind that. Cause that's a bit of a, a joint collaboration between a bunch of people. I think. Yeah, no, it's a bit. It's yeah, it's a sort of consortium because they were brewing at yeah. Bruski up in Helsingborg, but they're now involved with a brewery called West Coast. And I, I can't remember what town they're from. I want to say Landvetter or something, but they're away up by Gothenburg now. Yeah, I'm planning to go to, uh, to Manchester, Beer Fe- Ma- Manchester Camera Beer Festival on, on Friday, and they've got bottles from All In. I was, I was mm. quite impressed. 
I mean, I've never seen them in the shops over here, and then they're just at a camera festival. So I'll <laughs> yeah. do me. Hopefully, see. I'll, I'll, I'll let it slip on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, Twitter yeah, yeah, going, yeah bastards. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm going. Oh, I, want, I think it's Hustle, which is the Imperial Style, which is going to be really good. And there, all, all my mates are going. Oh, I'm going Wednesday, and I'll go and buy it all. Oh, you fucking rats! Yeah. You wouldn't even know about that beer if I hadn't <laughs> mentioned it. <laughs> We're getting a. We're actually getting a new uh, Omnipoyo beer here in Sweden on Friday. It's one of these oh, big imperial <laughs> stouts. <laughs> it's what is it? It's called. Uh, it's something Dave Strack. And let me just look this up. Just to see below. Uh, all see. right. It's with Siren. Um, yeah, yeah Lorelei. Yeah, Lorelei. I've got it in the fridge. At home. I posted my video today, but it, it, I think I had issues with the rendering, and it's. I've got to redo it. But yeah, 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 that, that's stunning. That's absolutely right. stunning. I guess we might have got it early because of it being a, 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 a siren collab. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got a thing, and it's got like a, it's got a um like a gold like afro pick like, on the oh. on the, on the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah uh, I got it before. I bought it before I went away. It was in the bottle shop near me. So. Uh, he was like, "Oh, yeah. do you want this?" Yeah, I'm yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah I do." <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's damn good. We're getting the, we're, uh, we're getting one of the ice cream ones as well on mm -hmm. the lemon meringue pie. Yeah, yeah I don't know the that one. Yeah. I've only had, yeah. I've only had the pile, well, but the, the pile, the original pile. That's the only one I've had. And then four. So. Yeah. Oh well. There's a new one. There's a new one from Brewski that you guys might get as well, which is called Little Big Hoppy. It's some uh, big American paleo, apparently. And uh, there's two new ones from Dugas, oh, Caribbean okay. rum stout from Horn Beer. Uh, cool. That's so there's nice. one from Amor as well. Yeah, there's. It's pretty good. I'm a bit annoyed though because like these small portiers that come up, like they're every two weeks, and sometimes there's just hee haw. There's nothing you want, and then it comes out the next week, and you want everything, and you're just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really but yeah. what can you do? Yeah, I don't know if anybody oh, kind of like browses <laughs> the, all the online shops like I do on like a nearly daily basis. <laughs> Just hunt for stuff. And I noticed on Belgium they had two different um, treehouse cans. It's all sold out now. Yeah. Yeah. It probably sold out in seconds, but I mean Yeah. They were on the um, Julius and Doppelganger were on on Belgium. <laughs> Are they like grey market ones or is it like Probably, legitimate? yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> They're charging about uh, about twelve euros for a, a can. Know. Yeah, it's not cheap. I'd have, I mean, I'd have paid it. I mean, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, had, I've had Julius, and I'd probably pay twelve euros for another one. Yeah. See, yeah. it's only about what? What's about ten or something? Nine yeah. fifty or ten? Yeah. Despite it, that, you'd probably yeah. get a six pack for about twelve dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the sickening <laughs> thing of it, isn't it. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. In America, it's not expensive beer, really. <laughs> no, you just got to get that. You just got to get that. Yeah. But, yes. <laughs> yeah, rub it in again. Wind it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's... My, I sent my mum in to get me some craft beers in uh, in Florida when she was there. She was saying it was like $10 for some of the normal-sized bottles and things, and she was checking them, and they were... Apparently they weren't even big strength beers or something like that. And I was like, mm. I don't know what the price is like. Maybe Florida is a bit of an odd bubble, but I would guess, you know, yeah. you see Keith Aerie open all that talking about like how cheap these six packs are. They are paying for a six pack what we would pay for one bottle normally. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's trillion when you can get this stuff. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing I was going to ask you about. Um, Shape ball. You know, I'm, I'm saying about this Russian beer face that we've got. This, and um, that's one thing for you as well, Rob. When you come over to uh, Copenhagen, you should pop over to Malmo and check out Malmo Brewing Company. They do some really good stuff. And here yeah, the the right. Time won't. Time won't allow. We're, I think we're coming Wednesday and leaving on on Sunday. We're getting late on Wednesday, so Thursday it'll be kind of. Um, Place like Bruce, 
probably. Um, Sounds amazing. You have a great time, mate. And there's an evening. Oh, there's an evening event which hasn't been announced yet as well. But if you if you've got a silver or gold ticket, you get invited to this evening event on Thursday. Then we're there Friday, Friday morning, and Saturday morning. So both afternoons. I'm sure we'll try our damnedest to try to try to visit a couple more places. But excuse me. Don't know yeah. How well, that'll pan out. <laughs> I was, I was thinking of getting one of the silver tickets, but it's like 500 Danish crowns, and I'm just like, can I really justify that? But I will see. You need to think about that. In fact, because yeah. there's... Is this the... There's a... Is this, my pal, Andreas, is the beer blogger over here. He was saying they've renamed it, and I don't know if we were thinking of the same yeah. one. Because it was, it, 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 a little bit of celebration, we call it. Yeah, that's... M- MBC. Yeah. See, people know it as CBC though, that's the funniest thing, isn't it? Yeah, CBC, it's Michelin Beer Celebration Copenhagen. Oh, they do it in yeah. Boston as well now. I'd like oh. to go one year. In the future, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, think I said I'd, I'd try and get there every year and I finally have, so... Hold on to that dream. <laughs> oh, it's doable, isn't it, really? It's just, it's just yeah, all about just need a good, permission. Good reason. And, a good good permission. Well, there, is a way, there is a way to get free tickets if you're a blogger. I need to figure out what that is. Yeah, Peter um, gets uh, Peter gets free tickets. Yeah, because there is. Uh, I think Andreas was trying to figure that out for us to go. So I need to see if he's. I need to ask him about that again. But um, the other big one to come to over here now is Gothenburg Beer Week. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's that's meant to be really good. So and there's also the Malmöulok uh, whiskey festival as well, which is yes. pretty good. And, um, <laughs> yeah, a, a bunch of thing, a, a bunch of British breweries go to that. Magic, Mag, Magic Rock were there this year, and they had these. Uh, whoever does their imports, um, they built this kind of like, do you know, like a like a mascot. Uh, you're, a, you're a can of high wire. This this like, you know, like a plush <laughs> outfit. Magic, hey, can of high wire yeah, running yeah. around. I think I saw that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. I was at the thing. I was at the, um, <laughs> was it Beer Cider and Whiskey Festival or whatever it's called? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you went there, you'd probably see a load of breweries from kind of the north of England. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, there's a lot of. Uh... There's, a, there's a lot of interesting stuff in Mal. I mean, there's, there's. I've had a couple of breweries that are they're very small in Malmo, but they're up and coming, like Continuum and. And, uh, and things like this and Mal- like Malmo Brewing Company they're actually really good and they frustrate me no end because their beers are don't bottle them they're all cask and there's this rule in Sweden that you know the Malmo Brewing Company do growlers but you're not allowed to have anything above 3.5% in your growler to take away mm-hmm. and they have to put like a label and a seal on it and they have to say on the label this is 3.5% because you know, I've spoken to the guys behind the bar and they're like, you know, we would just gift you it, but like, it would, you know, if you go away and film a review, it gets us in trouble. So it's, you know, it's, it's one of these rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, so I need to figure that out with them at some point, but yeah. Harry, uh, Harry's going to join. Ah. Going on to the Stig Baguettes Amazing Page. Oh, that's a cracker. That that's better than yeah. GBG beer weekend. No, 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 no. <laughs> Crazy. No, it is. <laughs> I'm on, no, GB, that's better than GBG beer weekend. Nice. <laughs> I'm on this classic now, a Bengal Amber IPA. <laughs> Funny shit, this is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to try these, these, these things. <laughs> well, at least see- you're not just drinking Superbock. Well, it is from Superbock, but it's their attempt. Oh, is it? craft, it's their attempt at craft beer. <laughs> so, uh, and it is an attempt. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's actually not too bad. It's probably the best of the six sides. Mm. Uh, you need to write. You need to write down for us, Craig. The. Uh, the best the best Portuguese breweries to watch out for because 
Um, that the brewery I was telling you about, they actually hosted a Portuguese beer festival. Um, and I was my pal Andreas. He was saying that it wasn't that it actually wasn't that good. I mean, because we went to the French one and thought it was amazing. We're looking forward yeah. to the Russian one, but he was saying the standard of the beer from the Portuguese one just wasn't that good. Yeah. I mean, the Portuguese. Yeah. It seems that 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 they're, they're kind of infants into this kind of wave of global craft beer craze. The, the, the breweries have generally been going about two years or something like that. Mm. I mean, I've never heard of any of these breweries a couple of years ago when I came out here. Mm. But now there's quite a few, one or two from Braga, one or two from, from Lisbon, and one or two others dotted around. But I think there's about 60 craft breweries now in Portugal mm. come up in the last two years. So, mm. which says, you know, it's, it'll take time, I guess. You know, they'll improve their recipes and... What is the population of Portugal? Is that about 14, 15 million or something like that? Oh, no idea. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was talking to Dave, who's one of the um, brewers at um, North Monk. He's uh, he's going over to Portugal quite soon to do, um, to do a collab. I can't remember what brewery is. I don't know <laughs> if he even remembered the name of it, but yeah, oh, he's, he's going over there. I have got a, um, a collab beer I'm bringing back with me. Oh, no, I'm going to probably take it to a bottle share. Um, it's a collab with um, Mean Sardine Brewery and Twal. Okay. So that's, that's like a Russian Imperial Stout thing. So I'm going to bring that back with me and I'm going to I'll take that to a bottle share whenever I can get to one. So it'll be quite, it's quite a scarce one by the sound of it. They only done one little batch and that was it. So I managed to snag a bottle of that with this this guy I brought these beers off. Try and promote him a bit and I brought a load, a load of stuff for him, Magic Rock stuff, and he was like, oh. <laughs> He had the common grounds and he was like <laughs> he was swearing all over the place. He was, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was dribbling, it's quite funny. It's good though when you share beers like that, you know that are good and you know someone who appreciates it, it's really good. Yeah. That's the thing. It's one of the annoyances to being a beer reviewer, I guess, is that like, beer is it is so local, and there is good, there is really good things out there you're just never going to get. But no, which is that's okay, but you can't try everything. Uh, I'm, yeah. quite, I'm kind of relaxed with it really now. I, I used to think, ah, oh, bollocks, I missed it, and I'm like, no, I, I don't care. Yeah, there's always going to be something else. There's always the next the next thing, isn't there? So no, I just you know, and if if it's something from Omipolo that they do, oh that was good, I don't get it. I was like, well, they've done one of these few beers before that I've not tried and missed, and they're going to do them again because they've, they've done them a couple of times before. So it's like I never thought I'd try Yellow Belly, and I have now. So it's like oh. it's always a nice treat when you do get to try them, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. They always a lot of the breweries don't make stuff and say, right, this is one time only, and then folk love it. So, so like, oh, we'll do it. Again. <laughs> yeah. 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 But no, it's it is. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I just like beer. <laughs> so, Craig, you're going to try and corner the Portuguese craft beer reviewing market. Change your name to Kent slash Portuguese. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I've kind of like I want to push it. I, yeah, why not? I mean, it's just getting the beers. There, there's a there's a Portuguese craft beer website that you can get beers from. They they don't go outside bloody Portugal, which is bizarre. <laughs> which is really annoying. I was like, I was yeah, straight well, on. that's what happened with Simon. I mean, Simon kind of like caught, somehow caught on with Polish beer. Poland, and yeah. That took his cha channel in a whole new direction. I mean. Him so yeah. popular on the back of that. So yeah, you, it's just, you, you might be the, yeah. It's good. It's going to be trades to get to get their Portuguese beers to the UK. That's the only way I'm going to do it by the looks of it yeah. at the moment. Anyway. Well, I'm sure you'll get a good de good deal out of it, considering what you can send over. Yeah, I mean, I can get quite a lot of stuff there after locally, which is handy. Um, and then if, if they want other specialist stuff, they're going to have to order online, get it to me, and then ship it out. So that becomes a little bit more expensive. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's just, you know, I'm going, to try, I'm going to try and do a lot of local stuff when I get back, to be honest with you, because uh, I've really neglected it since I've started. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I need, I need to... Well, I've done a lot of time in Tide stuff. They're probably the most recognised local thing for me. Yeah, do you know they're dropping a load of their core range? They're, I didn't, scra they're, no. they're scrapping a load of it. You know, you know, like the Sprat Waffler and uh, all that sort of thing. They're, 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 like, they're like scrapping a load of it to, to make way to do more like craft stuff. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It's a, it got them where they are now, these beers. Yeah. Um, they're, they're okay. They're not... They obviously want to brew bigger yeah. stuff, I, I guess. Get rid of the uh, all-in gym. Um, yeah, a few of their other like pale ales and their um, their best pale beer is the Callista IPA. Yeah, I don't know if if that's one they're hanging on to or 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 scrapping, yeah. but I, I think it's quite a bold a bold move really, just to say we'll just pack that all in and brew something brew something different. I suppose it's taking up space in their brewery, and if they're not happy with brewing it, then they're gonna. Yeah, gonna I'm not sure if they've moved location. They were in warmer part of deal just outskirts of deal and i don't know if they moved to eastry or not um which is like kind of between oh, it's all between sandwich and deal just just off but um so i'm not i'm not sure what they're going to be up to I know they're very experimental i know that yeah um i know they posted something the other day about they've done like a really small batch of something or other that no one's going to be able to try. It's like, oh. <laughs> I don't get that when it's a really small batch. It's like if no one can get it and don't post it. <laughs> no, keep it, to, keep it to yourselves and zip it. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. Because I think the uh, the guy who's now joined them, he used to work at the, used to work at the bottle shop. Bottle shop Drew. He's now one mm. of the brewers there, apparently. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's what's taking it in a new direction because he used to be the manager of the bottle shop. Yeah. So obviously, I had quite a lot of taste, taste and experience. Yeah. Uh, getting all uh, those beers in through there, but um, yeah, I yeah. think it's interesting. I think it's going to be good. What they, I did speak to Drew online the other day for a little bit. Right. Saying about like new stuff and that, so it was, it was cool. I mean, them them beetroot bloody tevervise and things are just mental. Yeah. I mean, I, I tried because they've done two versions and. The chili one blew my head off, <laughs> and on the original one, you can you can you can get that online. It's, it's very out of the box, quite a bold move, really. Yeah, but I think people must be liking it. They're still making it. So. We'll see. There's, well, that, there's a lot of unusual things. I mean, look at the beer that Peter posted earlier on. That I, I can't even remember what it was. was that oh, you really yeah. Eucalyptus, <laughs> eucalyptus, and eucalyptus. And <laughs> stuck in ring or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, a, a big thing out in Japan was um, sweet potato beers, sweet potato heifer vaccines and stuff, and it was actually it was actually pretty good. It was really strange how it worked, but it was. It, 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 I need. I mean, I'll see if I can get a couple of bottles of that for one of these. Uh, bottle shares that we'll do during the summer that would be quite interesting to bring you guys to try. But the, the sweet potato beers, you'd be surprised. I mean, they're not going to blow your head off, but they're actually. I'm surprised they've not tried. I suppose they're not trying to like a sake hefeweizen hybrid thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, they do they do things over there like they mix whiskey with lemonade, and you're like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't ruin don't ruin the lemonade. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah I suppose it's Suntory and stuff they're using. It's not the the good whiskeys like Mika and things, but. Another thing they like to do is they sometimes put sake and beer and it's just shit, you know, it's just asahi and Sapporo and stuff and you're like, why are you wasting sake? Like, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I, I could never understand lager tops. <laughs> when, I, when I was a lager drinker, I was like, what, the f what are you putting lemonade in it for? I, 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 got dry, well, I get that, but then... Oh, Shandy! <laughs> Yeah, I just I, I don't like shandies. I never have. I never did. I've never heard it called that before. A, la a lager top. We just call it shandy. Yeah, yeah lager tops cool. is a bit different because it's all beer with just a just a dash of lager on the top, a uh, dash of lemonade on the top. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, yeah. I don't I don't know if it's a southern. Thing I, I never used to like English it. Thing. I probably like it more now, not drinking the shit. To be honest. <laughs> 
but at the time, so it was like, like, put the lemonade in it. Did you need flavour? <laughs> well, yeah, but ne yeah, but when I was alive, you don't think that when, you, when I was, you know, when you're knocking them back and craft yeah, beer, really just it down. <laughs> And it's like, what are you doing? It? You're ruining it. And you're actually thinking now, I was like, actually, you're probably not. Yeah. One, of the, one of the big things in Germany was, um, was cool, what was it called? Cola beer. <laughs> it was like a cola, it was a Coca-Cola shop sort of thing, and they were just, you know, just cool and it was, and you're like, why? Why? Yeah. Just... One of the things I never got when I, when I used to live in, I used to live in France for a while, yeah. and... The, is the the syrups that they used to put at the bottom and then pour like a lager on the top so it'd be like a strawberry syrup yeah and then like a lager on the i never understood that i think you see i think the only ones you can really get away with are with berliner of ices yeah i think that's the only one that i've ever tried that i've really liked the syrup with but even some of those are quite questionable i have to admit yeah but they're doing it with like heineken or like it was weird the amount of fosters that were on on like tap it in in French bars. It's bloody everywhere. <laughs> yeah. No, it's kind of. Uh, there's some really there's some really strange things about it if you look for it. Definitely. Uh, did Did you guys um, just to change the subject slightly? Have you guys um, uh, seen what Pete Brown said in that in that article? About cast yep, beer. It's brilliant, love it. Yeah. <laughs> like the biggest I read it just before I came in here, actually. <laughs> yeah. I love it's, it. It's, yeah, all it's, it's, it's all it's all I agree with them. Yeah. That yeah, it's absolutely. it's not it, it's not actually the it's not the brewery's fault, it's the uh the people who don't know how to serve it. Yeah. Yeah, basically it's bad bad beer education. Yeah. Yeah. You mean if if people who are watching this after fact or Rest of you. So you see, it's, it's, it was something he wrote for the Morning Advertiser, uh, essentially about um, we should no longer put up with bad cask ale. And it's is absolutely spot on, and this is fa it's fantastic because Pete wrote the the cask report. This like big document every year for the last nine years. I mean, he's somebody who's really invested in the product, but has got to that point where he's completely appalled by like how it. I mean. You're right. What he says is a lot of, as Jake said, it's the issue is with the the publicans and the staff. I mean, you can be a fantastic brewer, but if at the end of the line, if, they're not, if they don't know what they're doing, then you're screwed. Easier just to keep a keg, play it safe, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what Cloudwater's done. Yeah, there's all all that all that conversation. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess this. I mean, I guess that again. This is the extension of what Cloudwater starts because Pete, Pete quotes the Cloudwater situation, which yeah, I was at the brewery on, on on Saturday night, and they were doing swimmingly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to worry. No issues. They were fine. They're not going to give a shit, are they? So come on. Um, and as it turns out, uh, Dipri Eleven was on as well, so that was a nice surprise. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I wasn't expecting it to to be out, and uh, we we rocked up there and like. Looking at the, because they only have four beers on, and I and I, I looked at them and thought, oh, that was so, so they've got nine and ten on. Oh, okay, okay. And I went and sat down, and my mate's like, no, they've got eleven. Like, what? <laughs> so, this is what I've got. I'm like, fucking hell, I miss that. <laughs> but it was really good. It is, it is really good, and it, sh it should be out in the next couple of days. Yeah, it's um. I think what it is. I think it's in the bottling, bottling it tomorrow. Or they are you know, today, tomorrow. Maybe Manchester on, on Friday, probably. So I'll grab some, um, no doubt. By the sounds of it, it's no. going to be their, their, their last um, dipper in a bottle. Yeah, in, in a bottle, yeah. yeah can, can in, I don't know if you saw, is it can yeah. in line arrive today, yeah? So. yeah next, next week, I believe, they they're going through all the checks and all that carry on. Yeah, do, uh, yeah, start doing testing now. Stuff so I reckon yeah. next, next, next week you know, first hands, so. Yeah, I think we're just going to do like a pale ale with the first one or something. Not the way we're going to go like straight in with the dipper. No. I'm, a, can, that, I'm, yeah. a, bit, I'm a bit of a can collector, so it's, uh, I'm going to be using it. I've got all their dipper bottles still at home, so... I need to try and get a hold of the version 10, actually. That's 
The other one I need to try is to get and get is the magic rock uh, cloud water one. I need to try and get a hold of that somehow. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm doing. This way's on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I've, got one, um, I've, I've got, got one at home. I think the situation with the, in the Cloudwater Double IPA is get the most recent one because, I mean, how much is it going to change now? Unless you go with a very much a concept change, they're all going to be relatively similar. Ten in, um, ten in line is quite similar. Um, we wear them side by side, and obviously, one's like a month old. And, but the older one probably smelled better, but the, the new one tastes better. So uh, I think I've got the older one by the sounds of it. They brought out, they brought out um, another edition of the uh, Hypnotist as well recently. No, I mean, no, no, no. Um, no. Number 10. Number 10 oh, smelled better than number 11. Oh, okay. Number 11 tasted better. But so, you mean, I don't think it matters if you have like 11 and you have 13 because it's. Much and much is now, so. unless the, as I said, unless they go, we're going to change this for a specific reason. I think I'm going to do like double reviews on these double IPAs. It's going to be a fun night. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait because I don't want to do like one review every month for. Uh, Cloud War. Oh, no. So if I do two together in one, hmm. drink a few and then do one. Why which have you got left? I've got well, I've got one. I, well, I think from now on for these monthly releases, I think I'm going to wait for two editions and then do them together. All uh, right. All oh, right. Okay. Rather than one then and another one and. It's, Mm. Just you want to drink it fresh, that's the exact point. With the, the yeah, releasing it is at the least. I think I think as long as they're within three months then I wouldn't leave it longer than that. Ninety days. Dirty animals. Three month old IPA. <laughs> yes. That's a sacrilege. I'll drink it fresh though, as soon as it comes out. Oh you mean get a couple? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Harry there as well. Evening all. Evening all. Hi, Harry. What are we all drinking then? I'm guessing we've all done that. I'm free so far. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, I, I opted not to go on about your, um, your head and mate for your. UK best beer because I thought I'd leave that to you in it again so it's just freestyling walking right? yeah okay yeah no worries yeah, yeah no worries yeah yeah <laughs> all right <Hi. laughs> get a repetition from somewhere um yeah a couple of beers I've got at the moment barrel aged Billy from uh Wylam interesting one I've actually got that Open on the go somewhere. There. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a smoked black bitter, which is a very odd type of brew, but I quite like it. And then um, this one, this brewery, which is actually my brewery for 2017, uh, a little earth project there, Hanseatic Porter. It's the also most. My, that's also my brewery of 2017. Yeah, oh, nice. Same as, same as me. <laughs> <laughs> it, this beer is, seems to be like one of the most misunderstood beers out there. It's um, it. Someone said on on tap to pour as flat as a pancake, and yes, it does. But uh, people, people just don't get it. It's awesome. It's not my favourite from Little Earth, but I quite like it. But, What's uh, the ABV of that thing? Somehow it's ten percent. It it doesn't drink like a ten percent at all. But um. I think most of their beers are ten percent. Is anyone else getting a feedback like an echo? Yeah. 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 In there. yeah. Is it since I've come on? No. No. <laughs> no it's been going okay. a while. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gone now. It's just. Yeah, it's gone now. I mean, I've only okay. got this uh, this tab open just as you just a Google Hangout tab. That's it. 
I must ask, when I came on, does it come on as Blue Nose Beer Reviews or something completely different? It says the beer the guy. guy. Oh, beer guy. Was, because I don't understand what ha- what's happened to my computer. It's got all I've got is yeah. just changed. It's my old hence, hence your, uh, your your countdown thing behind you. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would put it on, but <laughs> I love that. There's um, you, you didn't have enough ease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> get some more ease, Harry. <laughs> Can't find any more ease. I've got. Yeah, you've got plenty. Yeah, you've got plenty. Bit of electric tape. Bit of electric tape. You'll be all right. Bit of electric tape. Just draw straight on. Any ease in your title? That's why. <laughs> What's the ease? He's good. He's uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Ebenezer. Good. Ebenezer. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm going on to that next subject now as well. Mm. Going on to the, uh, it's the New World IPA. Where uh, those guys from? I've never seen Little Bit of Project before. Um, somewhere in the east. Suffolk. Suffolk. They're quite little. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're right, right close to me, like so, twenty-minute drive. So I'm not that. But um, after, after that, I'm not even sure where Suffolk is. <laughs> I don't really know where it is. Yeah, yeah many, most people don't really. <laughs> that's, that's, Scottish, that's where, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Scotland's easy. It just looks like a monster's heat. You just see where on the heat the thing is. Easy. <laughs> Well, you, well, you know, like England has like an ass. You know, like as an ass that sticks out it's on the ass yeah. of England, <laughs> right below oh, Norfolk. Is it near Bristol, basically? Is it near where? Near Bristol, no. <laughs> no, uh, other side of the no, country. No. So we are on the east. Oh, oh, right, okay. on the east. Bristol's on the west. He's like the all sound the same to me. The all sound like family. <laughs> they, they all look alike. <laughs> you always, you always go to England and they ask you what county are you from, and I'm like. Scotland. I can use Scotland. <laughs> no, the easiest way to shut them up is you speak at them in Sweden. They're just like, okay. <laughs> Where's he from? <laughs> but I, I did. I did actually put up a video today, actually about about the brewery. Mm. Like it's the f- first one I've done. Like a bit of a different, trying to do a few like different videos. Um, because yeah. I, cause I, I went, I went, I went and, was pe- peeling potatoes. Oh really? Oh cool. But that's an odd image. <laughs> <laughs> I do right. peel potatoes, believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you but you yeah. were kind of like you were propped up by the bread bin. Oh from the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Even weirder image. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm no, it's really good, I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's a fantastic. But I've got like I did put up one of the review. I've like I brought like four of their beers and like reviewed them all. And I put up one of them, one of theirs today. Mm. Um, but they're just, they're just so they're just so different. They're just doing mm-hmm. like different stuff. It's, mm. it's really cool. They're not they're not following the trends. They're not doing like the big like, tropical IPAs. They're just doing what they want to brew and what they're in- interested in. So who's yeah. got that really? I think all of their brews were done like quite a long time ago last year weren't they because it i mean this one says 20 the 26th of november 2015 so that was yeah. when it was brewed and bottled in june um and that was the same with i had their organic stock ale the other day um which was 10.5 percent burn ale uh, as it's described um and i think i think they described it as burn ale as well but yeah that was pretty awesome uh i can't remember what gave that than extremely high and I think the other one I had was Salt of the Earth, um, yeah. which is only 4% Earth, but that was pretty damn decent. But they're quite, yeah. I mean, as, as you hit the nail on the head there, really, they're, they're so different and they're so unique. Um, there's nothing really out there like them, which is why they are my brewery for the year ahead, I suppose. Yeah, because I think they used to actually trade under like a different name, and I think they were like more of like a real ale brewer and then i think they just gave up because it's like attached to like a pub where it is in in suffolk it's like behind a pub um and i think they they sort of brewed like traditional real ale and then they mm-hmm. sort of they got rid of the name got a new like got a new name for the brewery and just mm-hmm. started doing these crazy beers and oak barrels yeah invested some crazy kit they've got yeah <laughs> but uh yeah 
I, I, it's, it's one of the breweries I just definitely want to go and have a look. I'm, I'm going to speak to the brewer and uh, sort some stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, yeah. I saw that they even made up like uh, Little Leeds Beer House and stuff. They, yeah, yeah, I spotted them last yeah. week. I didn't. I wasn't sure what they were, and then I saw your video today, and I'm like, ah, that's what they were on that <laughs> shelf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen I'll, them. I'll probably check them out. I mean, yeah. you'll have to tell me which to get, but. Um, um, I'll, I'll probably be popping in on Thursday, so I'll, I'll, I'll grab something. I'm still knocking around online now, which is good for, for people like me. Yeah, I've seen it. I think I've seen it on Beer Gonzo. Been the Venom yeah. on there for a while. Yeah, you know, like you've got a load of them on there. That might be. Yeah, I'm gonna look on there now. <laughs> I haven't looked on there today. No, I have got. No, I haven't today. <laughs> oh, no. I generally look. You gotta keep your finger on the board these things, don't you? Of course you've got to. Yeah, but yeah, but... That's what I asked for for Christmas, was just beer vouchers from all the different beer websites. So I've got yeah, like a load, right. of, I've got like 50 quid's worth of vouchers for beer merchants, 50 quid for Honest Brew. Excellent, that's the way to do it. Uh, yeah, that's, just like, that's all I want. Don't, don't buy me stuff, I don't need any more stuff in my house. It's already full of crap. <laughs> and then you get the ridiculous <laughs> question of, what do you want for Christmas? Or what do you want for your birthday? It's like... Come on, beer. Beer. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but don't, don't you buy me the beer, just buy me vouchers so yeah. I have to buy the beer. <laughs> is, is that actually a question? Don't buy me loads of shit. Yeah. Is yes. that a question? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. There's plenty of that out there. But, um, a selection a few... box in the past. Yeah. yeah. Lagers of the world selection box. Yeah. I, <laughs> I love it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, from a nan. It's like, you like beer, don't you? Yeah, yeah I love beer now. Thank you very much. <laughs> have you seen that part. trends have you seen that trend sneaking into your um birthday card selection as well <laughs> yeah. it's kind of beer related birthday yeah. cards yeah yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Fucking alcoholic. <laughs> it's not that bad i know i've got an interest but <laughs> <laughs> an inter- <laughs> loads of pint glasses loads of bottle openers yeah <laughs> I've got you a prey of Fosters. I'll be sure to uh, drink every one. With the sink. <laughs> I'll, I'll sell it. <laughs> Put it towards some uh, vouchers. <laughs> What's everyone current or the other's uh, theme? What are you drinking, mate? Oh, I'm on the uh, Rev, Rev J. Ah, okay. Oh, traditional. It's the Rye version, though. Yeah. I've not had that. I had... I had... It was out of, uh, no, not AP. Just over a quid, I think it was, in bargains. That's all right. It's all right. I'm getting a bit of a metallic thing on the back end, though. It's spoiling it. Yeah. It's Excellent. the loose things to put in the bile. That's what yeah. you know, has that beautiful flavour. Skunked. I'm full of coppers, empty copper jar in there. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of stuff. Sorry, D, but I fucking hate Rev James. I got <laughs> sent a load of. When Sam has started doing stuff with, with brains, I got sent a case of um, brains. They were very generous. But <laughs> fucking Rev James. I don't know if I, I don't know if I posted a review. If if, the, if I did, I'll I'll hunt it out. Might have been like this is too offensive. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they've been very gracious, and, and, and from the people I've met, they're all lovely. But it's just like, yeah. But Simon loves it. I mean, he, I'm seeing. He, he says he, when he goes down to, he gets invited to rugby sometimes at uh, Cardiff South, Cardiff Fan Park, and stuff. Um, and they have it on draft. Then he'll he'll be on, on pints of that all all day. So, but um, it's not for me. It's that yes, absolutely. It's like, it's like your fingers after you put your hand in your pocket and your change. <laughs> Rob, do, do, you post, do you post for... Sorry. Oh, so Simon not work for Brewers? No, he works for a, 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 a brewery called Evan Evans. Ah, uh, right. That's the bigger company, but he, he's the brand ambassador for the Tele Experience. Oh, right. That's it. No, he's not officially work for Brains, he's just doing the bits and bats. I was going to say, Rob, do you, do you post reviews of beers that you don't like? Sometimes. I try not to because I try and, I mean, I'm buying, I mean, I'm paying for it, so I mean, if it's, if I, just, I, I just don't just like it. it. I guess it's this, I mean, one thing, I, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, um, and I think, 
what I personally do is in those situations where um, this is because I've got a friend who reads on a very small scale and he's going to go defending his corner against people on Instagram slagging off his beer. And um, I'd always go quietly to people and say, um, oh, there's an issue with this, um, this is what I think, blah, blah, blah. If they come back and uh, I'll give them the opportunity to you know, like, kind of rectify the situation if, or explain it. And if I'm right, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, fine. But if it's, if it's bad and they're going, no, there's nothing wrong with it, then it's fair game. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, say I, know you can, I know you can bring out a lot of enemies that you don't personally like. Yeah. But I guess you've got to be, if you, as long as you're honest and constructive, you know, just been the knob. I think you're all right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I always say it's not to my taste rather than shit. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, I, um, I had Neutron Star from Atom around Christmas, and I was really looking forward to it. And it smells great. It smells pancake. So. I'll, I'll post it. I mean, I contact them. They, they haven't. I mean, I know Jack's been away, but um, yeah, he's in Australia. But right? I mean, other other people have con been contacted. And they didn't contact me, and I've I've met the person who who was doing the contacting on their behalf. So do you remember was it oh, last year? This equivalent of Hop City. Um, someone brought up something from Atom, and it wasn't that good to some. No, 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 no. It was. Um, or is it or something? Jack, I can't well, remember. Well, we had them I mean, no, Jack brought up a, a, a corn keg of um, Fubbers and Demos um, with papaya in the, in the corny. So he's yeah. got a little corn keg and um, it was free beer. He, he just brought it. It was his own. His own yeah, own I, I don't keg. think it was that. It might I, just, I, just, I, just, I just walked around with it, like pouring people free glasses of beer. It, was it the same for me? I thought it was, it was good. good. Yeah. I, I had two, two or three glasses, I think. <laughs> the bottle there, the bottle that I had bottle this time, I had a bottle of an IPA with a strange name, which was good. Um, but yeah, the, um, the 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 imperial stout was flat. It smelled great, right, but it just it's not. It, it hadn't been conditioned. Probably rushed it out to hit like yeah. Christmas market and stuff. But yeah. it's a shame because it had the makings of something really good. I, I've got a bottle of that myself, and I, I was just told after I, I saw everyone complaining and stuff about it. I, I was just told, age it, see how it turns out, sit on it. So I've, I've just got a bottle of that Neutron Star and see, just see how it turns out. But uh, somebody, yeah. somebody came to me um, on, on quietly and said, "I've been told to put it somewhere warm for a while." Yeah. Thinking, I should have pulled one out. I should have pulled one out with me. You should be finishing the beer before you send it out. That's yeah. not right. That. Because I, I got yeah. caught out with that years ago. I've still got it in Leeds Brewery. Is like, I think it's like 400th Guile. It's a big bottle of like wax. And it's a swing, big, long, tall, weird swing, swing top bottle. I'll grab it in a minute. Um, and, I, and I bought it. And then I went into another shop and my mates went, oh, yeah, it's flat as pancake. That. They told me to put it next to the radiator for two weeks. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, no, really? I've never opened it. I've never opened it. Cause I know it's going to be shit. No, it's gonna be even. But now it might be interesting. I'll just sh even shitter than shit <laughs> because I can put it next to the radiator for a while to pop, bump up the carbonation. Mm. But then again, it might not be any good in the first place. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a really nice bottle. I'll just grab it. Okay. Force carbonation by a radiator. <laughs> I'm um, I'm currently on this thing, Gravensteiner. It's a German oh. Keller beer. Uh, it looks I've like it's from Veltins. Yeah, it's a CNA Veltins original uh, land beer, Keller beer, whatever, <clears throat> whatever style of beer that is. I've I've never had anything like it. It's quite a multi land beer before. No, it's it's quite pleasant yeah, in its own style. The Keller beers, the land beers, and the speckles are from uh, mm. from Anconia. Yeah, it's not and West Germany. All... <laughs> Yeah, I think the Keller beer are supposed to be a bit more hoppy than the other ones. Uh, there are there's yeah. very subtle differences between the Zwickel, the Keller, and the Land beer. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've never had anything of them styles before. Whatever style you want to call it, Land beer or Keller mm. beer. I assume are they the same or? 
they're all they're all like really related to each other. It's to do it's a little bit. I think the definition is like it's to do with the hops and malts. Like I forget which way it is. I think this Zwickel is the one that's a little bit more malty. The there's one of them that's in between, and I think it's I think it's the Keller that's actually the more hoppy one. I think the oh. Keller is the hoppy one. The land beer's in the middle, and then the Zwickel is the, the more okay. malty. Those three kind of versions of yeah. Yeah, they're all, uh, they're all Franconian. Yeah, because yeah, um, it, it's saying, on the bottle, this is saying it's a land beer. Um, and then you go on to Untapped, and it's saying it's a Keller beer. So it's like, well, whatever. Yeah, that's ha half the thing is, that, like, yeah, like, with Untapped, they're not very good with Franconian beer. Like, they just, like, if you go on to rate beer, they put Keller's Vickle land beer, and it's all one category. And... The folk yeah. have made that, obviously. Have, they've never been to Franconia and actually tried these things because they are quite different. But, yeah. um, I mean, you go to different websites, they say it's a different thing. It's like, well, fuck it, I don't know. I'm not, mm. I'm not experienced with this that style of beer at all, so I'm like, I don't know what I'm expecting. What you know, It's got very limited kind of... It goes into the usual ingredients nonsense and then that's about it really it's a full flavored blah 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 blah, blah and it's like uh, that means I nothing mean, to me i mean they're fairly simple like i mean it's it's kind of you know they're a bit ready there's something to me a biscuity kind of thing in there it's, it's noble hot you know grassy floral like a little bit earthy yeah sometimes you a bit like lemon or something you know they're fairly simple they're not kind of it's not, you know, it's it's nowhere near like a double bock or a round oh, beer. No. It's got, it's not massive flavour. It's very, all very subtle, very pleasant, but not. I mean, I until I try a few, I, I don't know what it's supposed to be like. If you know what I mean, being a first, first one of that kind of style. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's half the thing. It is just a case of it. Uh, you just need to try a few of them next to each other and you start to see the, the differences between these different ones. Yeah. Rob's gone again. That. <laughs> I'm looking for your cellar. He's, he's hanging <laughs> off the wall by look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Blair Witch Project. <laughs> he's frozen. Is he actually doing, is he actually staying still? Or is that the camera freeze? Oh, I, I don't know. He just disappeared. <laughs> got I'm currently, yeah. currently hunting beer gonzo now. Anything from Little Earth I can get. It's actually better price than what I pay for it. I think. Yes. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what delivery is like. Um, uh, delivery is seven ninety nine. I've just checked to UK or collect from store. I mean, beer Gonzo's in Coventry, I think so. Because there's there's a bottle shop that's near me in Bury St Edmunds called Beautiful Beers, and I, I think they have every single beer that that's available from um, Little Earth Project at the moment. Oh, okay. I don't know what, and they do sell online, so I don't know. But I don't know what their delivery is because I've always just gone to the gone to the um, called uh, Beautiful Beers. Did you mention something to the UK, Harry? I, I, I missed that. Um, yeah, yes, it's Beer Gonzo. They're based in Coventry. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. I thought it was overseas website, sorry. No. Um, okay, I missed that. Uh, yeah. Is there, yeah. Uh, is there a tap room up in the room now? Because, I don't know, because they're doing like a, um, a lambic tap room aren't they they're not doing yeah. any sort of tap room they're just doing like a lambic room lambic um, yeah. i've never actually been to beer gonzo so um it's, it's coventry as, as much as it's so close to me it's so close so far away it's just why it's would just you on the outskirts it's, it's still Ilston, i think it is so it's oh, about okay. two miles from the city i, I go there a lot because you, you can get a lot it's really easy it's right down the m40 yeah. Break down the 45 and you come up yeah. and you're there more or less. You know, uh, okay. Going into the city, it's pretty easy Cause, to get to. Yeah, I suppose because my my work's just off the off the 45 as well. Um, yeah, I might I might check check it out so maybe tomorrow or something. But um, I'm just checking whatever out. Whatever happened to your efforts, to, uh, Harry? Whatever happened to your efforts towards the North Korean beers? To get some North Korean beers, um, I have still, I, I, 
doing it through my brother now. But I, I think when I rang the, when I got in touch with the company, who was who was going to be? They were in Seoul, who was going to distribute it through. They were like, yeah, we don't ship anything anymore. So I don't, I just didn't do it with them. But they they had it still listed that they were getting it shipped via Guangzhou, uh, or Guangzhou. So I was going to get it, and then I just, just didn't bother. But um. <laughs> No, they, I, I think I'm going to go down the slightly contentious route of using my brother as like a beer mule and uh, get, get dodgy North Korean beers imported into the, into the UK that way. So, Better watch to be the mate just to come knocking at your door. Well, she never came knocking at my mate's door when he was importing all sorts of interesting American beers, which leads to why I got some awesome beers last week. But uh, yeah. Past couple of weeks. <laughs> but, uh, we need to start out. that as well. We <laughs> I'd love to do it. I'm just what like, as you get. Um, like, well, it's when I got a focal banger and stuff like that. Um, a couple of weeks. Oh, back. okay. I didn't. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I still want to actually review one cam of it. Um, but uh, yeah. Nice. And yeah, I, I think I'm always, um, I'm always pleased when people get quality beers like that. You know, even though know, I don't get to try them. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, waiting the each other thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I never expect anything. I'm just I'll have some of that, and then you know. I think chances, chances are pretty likely that, that, that I'm not 100 percent sure, but I won't be surprised that uh, Hop City is headed to Oscar and, and Focal Banger. Yeah. They, they, they don't do like that many beers, do they? No. <laughs> well, they do beers Crusher. like that. Crusher. Okay. They won't go Crusher as well. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do many, so yeah. Chances are focal banger and heady. You can't go wrong, can you? <laughs> Chance, and, and, and this talk, I mean, this is really, this is all quite un unofficial, and hopefully now when we watch this, too, this is going to get me in trouble. But um, we, we're talking about sent and figuring out. Kind of one-way kegs and stuff, but uh, John Kimmich, um, um alchemist, is is uber obsessed about freshness of his beer, so he's he wants to send cans. Mm. So it might be that on their bar we just send cans, which is no bad thing. Because I'm sure it'd be a respectful price, yeah, <laughs> frightfully, no, frightfully, frightfully affordable price. I'm sure. <laughs> so, fuck it up, yeah, yeah, I'll have one of each. <laughs> So. Gotta love nano kegs. <laughs> Buy my nano kegs all the time. Uh, uh, I've, just, I've just opened um, uh, a Brewer by Numbers uh, pale ale. Um, and, and I've got to say, Brewer by Numbers make the ugliest fucking beers in the world, don't they? <laughs> like, like they're the same colour as, like as like a brown envelope. It's just kind of like, it's kind of somewhere between brown and grey. <laughs> so unpleasant looking. They're, they're yeah. decent beers, but fucking hell, they're ugly. So it's like puddle water. Exactly. <laughs> Looks like it's just puddle water. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and get my beer wand on this as well because it's got um, a uh, bit flat. Uh, God, I, saw, I saw Simon's review of that one. That was a. Uh, yeah. That was a. Uh, <laughs> it looks intense. It looks <laughs> it looks, it looks lovely. Yeah. I'm, I'm posting mine, and um, I'll post mine later this week, but it's not quite the same as Simon, shall we say. No, it's, it's the way he kept putting it in his mouth, I thought, oh, I might, have to, I might have to turn this off in a minute. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> so, yeah. like, beer porn. Beer porn. Yeah. So, yeah. Hashtag beer porn. <laughs> to, to clean, I will admit, to clean it, I did, I, I did lick the end of it. <laughs> Fucking I don't know how easy you get it, but it sends this fucking mental thing through your head. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't do it I've again. Watched, I watched that last night. It was live, and it was fucking funny shit. It was yeah. good. It was good. It made me laugh. What was that? The, um, yeah, the hottest beer been... in the world thing he done last oh, night. Yes, 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 yes. That was, oh, was he uh, doing it live last night? Okay. I watched it this morning. It was, it was on uh, Facebook Live. I just had uh, to. I watched the actual post today on YouTube. I just, I just happened to have a look and oh, he's, he'd been on about ten minutes. I was like, oh, I'll join and watch it. And <laughs> yeah, it was quite, quite funny. I asked him what he's doing. Was it that hot though? I never know if he's lying. 
just to get yeah. a bit of a reaction in the video, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, what's He's Guinness? He's not that good at that, so that's the And then put, put, put in Guinness World Record thing, it's like, uh, it's, it's them hashtag things, isn't it? It's just, uh, it, if, if but, a bit of uh, Carolina Reaper in there, then Carolina Reaper is like some serious business. If it, if it really translates into the beer, but I I've never had it, so I don't know. I, I, I mean, I've had some, like, hot chili beers before, and... Yeah, I mean the the one that springs to mind I mentioned earlier, the um, beetroot hefeweizen with added chili. That 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 was that's the hottest chili beer I've ever had. Was that not the time and time, time, is it? Yeah, yeah, they they done is two it? different versions. Ah, uh, okay. I've got one downstairs from them. They've got the original, and then they've got one with added chili. Ah, uh, okay. Both, both in cans. I had um, this one from them. The other day, the uh, new rope rose saison. Uh huh. Uh, pleasant. It's quite nice. Yeah, pleasant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was interesting. It was quite Without nice. being outstanding, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not yeah. offensive. It's, it's a good summer beer, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, they're double stout. They're double stouts. Beautiful. I think uh, I think I've just got that in the uh, beetroot hefeweizen from it. I think it's just normal beetroot hefeweizen. That's just what I was wondering. Um, yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're really kind of they're an interesting brewery, and as um, Jake said earlier, they're dropping a lot of their core range or the lower core range, by the sounds of it. Um, hopefully, they're not dropping Callista. That's that's a really good beer. Okay, I, I I'd never heard of them until you, uh, we were speaking about them a couple of weeks ago, and uh, then they just right, started yeah. popping up over here, and yeah. you, you see yeah, them a little I've, bit. Yeah, I've been. I latched onto them probably a couple of years ago when they first mm. started. Um, well, about a year and a half, two, two and a half years ago, I started. But they've been going about six months by the time I discovered them. And they turned up in one of my local kind of mainstream pubs. They started doing keg lines and draft. Mm. <laughs> and, you know. Being tricked to a cam show. <laughs> Look at my hands! Now they were naff all on me before. <laughs> one finger, one finger of pure white fur. So it's essentially just a Mr. Whitney. <laughs> I don't know. I, I missed something that was normal by the sound of it. I, I wonder if I put my uh, Sonic Air toothbrush into my uh, beer, will I get the same effect? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you, you could do a vertical, Harry. <laughs> Compare and contrast. You, you guys were saying earlier on about chili beers. My uh, missus got the list for my birthday. Oh, was that the oh, prairie? Right? prairie? Yeah, yeah, it's got chilies in that. Which one? They're bloody expensive. Which is it? The first birthday bomb. Birthday bomb. Ooh, yeah. birthday bomb. Mm. Yeah. What's, what's, the, what's yeah. the difference between that and very various other bombs? I think it's, it's um, additional ingredients in that. Is it more of a spicy uh, version? Thirteen percent imperial style aged on coffee, cacao nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's quite. Uh, what's yeah. that similar to then? I, I can't remember. see regular bomb. I was I was disappointed with, but Bible Belt, which sounds really really similar to that. Bible <coughs> Belt's fantastic. Um, yeah, expensive. pirate bomb. Yeah. You're looking at good beers. Ten. I mean, the real, Prairie makes some good stuff. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, just from, uh, there's a guy who used to be head brewers, be, um, doing some new stuff called American Soleil, I think. Just knocking around. I know that they're, they're even expensive in America, Prairie beers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure that one, what Dean's got, was that be absolutely spanking. But you I mean Bible yeah. Bell, which is very similar. It's all kind of chocolate, coffee, um, vanilla, all that, um, and a bit of chili. It's, it's a nice amount of chili. You, you had for you, didn't you? You had um, Mexican cake, didn't you? Oh, that's pretty really beautiful. Yeah. So it makes along. It's along the lines of Mexican cake. Is that? I had that the Fallen Brewery, um, Lendon. Rendezvous or something, and that's for me. The, the chili on that spoiled the beer because it was just too intense. Mm. I think it works. Yeah. It, it works. It works in a beer, but you just got to get the balance right on it. And I, I, I hope with this, it's yeah. just you just get a nice little bit of warmth 
bits of it and not a fucking ferocious yeah. side to it. To me, <laughs> you, just, you, just, you, just, you, just, you just want it a glance, glance in chili and then that yeah. blends in well rather than fucking trash your palate. The only, the only, yeah. It's like that, that brew dog beer, so I stayed away from them. I just it didn't feel too much. Oh, yeah. There's a really, there's a really good one from a uh, project called Death from Above, and that's actually really quite nice because they've, it's got a good bit of fruity character to it, and you only, you, you get the warmth sort of down in your throat rather than on the tongue, which is quite nice. But I think, I think you don't really get the full thing out of chili beers unless you actually eat them with something spicy. I think they're, it's one of these styles of beers that you can't, they're just not meant to be drunk on their own, like. It just, I just don't think you get the full whack of them unless you eat them with something or drink them with something. Yeah, probably better with food. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I was never really into like food pairing and stuff that much, but I think with chili beers, it's something you really mm, have to do with. To. I think Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Yeah. I've seen uh, Peter start to post a few things of Master of Hoppets about um, beer and food pairing mm. videos, which is quite cool. Yeah, we all go through this patch where we think this this content's getting a bit stagnant. We've got to do something different. And yeah. We all do a bit of food food pairing, <laughs> and it never lasts. <laughs> Been there, <laughs> the, uh, been just, about a fall. Just, <laughs> yeah, and then you get to the point where you think, I just want a beer. I'm not hungry, so it's like, fuck it, I'm having a beer. <laughs> yeah, so it's, like, it's, it's, it's too much of an issue. You get, unless you're cooking like. Um, Christ, I mean, say so you're doing two or three reviews, you can't eat that much. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll never see me eat. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, it's just like have a Guinness as well or something. <laughs> oh, at least there's stuff like Guinness supposed um, to fill you up. Well, it makes me think not. of all the Danny McFadden says, "A meal and a con. It's a meal and a con." <laughs> <laughs> uh, breakfast in a can. So, so what happened to the McEwen's, um champion thing? To, I thought you were doing that today. Oh, we're, uh, we're, we're waiting for Craig to get a bottle of that as well, and anyone else who wants to join in, we're doing that next month. Oh, we, game we, did that, we did that on Quaffer Bay back in the day. I'm, the, the I'm, so, happy. That was I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, so I'm yeah, so happy your way for me to get home. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> disgraceful. We'll <laughs> you will enjoy You will enjoy I thought I'd fucking missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, proper I've horrible. Booked, I've, I've booked the tickets now, so I can't duck out of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I might not be able to find it. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> You'll find it. <laughs> I can't I, find I, I it might. anywhere. I might, but I might not. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked everywhere, but I can't find the <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Wow. Where, where can I get it? <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, it's a horrendous beer. It's not horrendous. Yeah. Many, so the bear many bear worse. He's, he's challenged me to doing a review of uh, Tesco Value Bitter or in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Terry's done. Terry did it quite recently, I think. He did one of the kind of like shop bought brands. It sounded disgraceful. <laughs> they are. Even Terry didn't like it. <laughs> it was an eight minute review, it was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> run straight into twenty four. <laughs> uh, that that kind of um yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> No, bless him, he did put up a video today um, of a wild goose chase from Wild Baker, yeah, unbelievably. Oh, okay. My that one came out of left field, okay. Mr. K. It's really pissing me off. <laughs> Everyone sounds like a dialect. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't get to think, I didn't get to, um, um, I think you know, that Farrington's video, I think I'd watched like 12 minutes and he'd not even poured it. I mean, I'm not joking, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not having a pop. But honestly, he even said to himself, he's like, three minutes in, 
<laughs> just, and I've already gone off on one. <laughs> what, what was what, what was that? Sorry, I missed it. Wild goose chase from Wild Beer Co. Ah, okay. I tell you what, I did watch the other day, which is it did make me chuckle because obviously the beer it was was Tesco Value Lager. Oh yes, by, I know. Um, Jonathan, that was that yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> did make me laugh. He, got, he, he did make me laugh, and I was like, he, he, he held out quite well, and then he just. Near the end, he just fucking went. It's quite good. Two percent, two percent lager, twenty-five p a can. Oh, okay. Wow. A five hundred mil can, no less. Jesus Christ. I mean, that it literally does taste like, like beer flavored fizzy water. It it yeah. tastes pretty awful. Yeah. I mean, it tastes remotely beery, very remotely. I mean, one day I might get all these real cheap kind of supermarket crappy lagers together. Blend them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. You'd you be, 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 be ill for a week, wouldn't you? <laughs> Can you afford to take a week off work? <laughs> but, uh, you know, you, you, but you, could, you, could, you could pick the best of the shit and, you know, just do them all in one go, get them out of the way. For the consumer, yeah, and then, what, get ones, yeah, and then, then yeah. get slated. Oh, it's the best beer I've ever had. Who you are know, these uh, goons? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, get thing, them on you? <laughs> the thing I love doing is just spreading bullshit like that. It'll be fucking funny watching put all the craft beer, like cr- craft beer, or the, <laughs> the um, Twitterati. Yeah, that's it. That's that sort of, <laughs> that sort of terminology. Yeah, yeah. And everyone sort of. <laughs> Onto it, oh, okay. you know this. This like Tesco value. It's pretty fucking decent stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder if you, you can see the on it. Who's the market for that for that stuff? Because like, surely like bums aren't drinking it because it's not strong enough. No, exactly. Yeah. Who's the one get you to where you need to be? Is it? No. Yeah. It's it's us. We're the market. People who are in the market. The market. <laughs> Just you. But no, I mean, if you're inquisitive about beer, <laughs> yeah. and you don't drink any old shites. <laughs> yeah. Who are you talking to, Rob? Yeah, I'll <laughs> But no, I just, you know, just for a laugh, just to. Once you've done it, it's out of the way. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it's a, it's a video, I suppose. <laughs> or, or it's content. I just want to see how bad it is. <laughs> Get a taste yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just want to see how bad it actually is. I've got this crap lock, I'm having this Tesco value stuff. <laughs> but then when I get a real good beer, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. this is good. It makes you appreciate the good shit. That's, that's what I'm saying. The wise yeah. man once said, "Life's too short, it's amazing beers." No, no, no. I, I get that. But I, I like to have a laugh sometimes as well. <laughs> How shit this really is, you know. And you yeah, see, yeah, people say it's really poor. I went a bit like, oh, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I scoured Bradford to get um, tenants, uh, tenant soup, kettle uh, soup, uh, special brew, and one more. And my plan was to um, record it next to the like the wheelie bin. <laughs> no, I thought that was bad. And then I added them. They weren't like that. Is, that, is that to throw up or to fuck it? Just to, or chuck up. For, for context, context purposes, really. It's, That's really, right. it's like a sermon suggestion, isn't it, really? That kind of thing. <laughs> Near the bins, on a park bench, before a fight. You must be able to smell urine before you drink. <laughs> That's outside a police station. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just after you got out. <laughs> In the cell. <laughs> Getting feet You're back again. I don't know. Is it me? No. Well, hopefully where I'm moving, I might be able to do some videos. Um, I've got... My next door neighbour is actually a police station. And, uh, 
My uh, next one set up to a very odd joke. <laughs> <laughs> My next neighbour is police station. The other one is a a, a petrol station. And uh, it's literally like shameless where I'm going to be moving, so shameless. it's going to be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you'll be seeing lots of Castrol Super videos. Uh, how, have you processed all them bottle share videos, Harry? Or... I've, I've done. I've moved on to eight. I've processed eight of them. Eight. Um, Not bad. I, I, yeah, I'm going to be doing more tomorrow. Actually, I've got a whole day off tomorrow. and won't be doing plenty. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I'll get some more done tomorrow, and then I'll Dropbox them or something like that if I can work out how to work Dropbox because it's been a while. Um, but uh, yeah, and I'll um, send That's them cool. over whatever nice. way possible. Yeah, excellent. That'd be good. It's going to be quite funny, especially the second day stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've done most of the first day. Um, they're all pretty much done from the first day, but it's like. Second day, it's just it just gets rowdier and rowdier. <laughs> it just you, even in the pub, it's just got you can hear the pinball machines louder and louder and louder. But you can still hear us, which is good. And then it just it, then it just comes back to quiet. And Peter went back at my house for a bit, and then yeah, yeah. Well, then, <laughs> it's difficult to edit, I guess. Yeah, and the videos get longer and longer as yeah. well. That happens. Yeah, no, the, we're we're quite sensible the first night. I know. Well, I didn't talk much. I, I was I was too knackered to be honest. <laughs> yeah. After, after drinking that lovely hobgoblin. Wow, well, that, that that set me up for the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, was that your train beer? That was his post-train beer. That was that was yeah. It was my waiting beer. But there was a. That was your landing beer. Was it? It, it, was, it was a it was keeping out the cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. we couldn't get him out there, couldn't we, Harry? Couldn't. It was, it was, it was, like, str it was struggling, you know, like clinging onto a table as we're trying to drag you out. Yeah, I, I was devastated. But, um, a bit more I'm glad you turned up because I was almost going to get a second one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the way you were powering through it. So, yeah, that, that would have um, completely done me in. I'd have been pissed as a fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on beer sites so just knowing that I can't afford to buy beer. It's just yeah, I've, a horrible I've done, feeling to I've have. Done, I've, I've been quite good. I've only done two deliveries since I've been out here. So. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah, no, nothing since Christmas, I don't think, which is bad considering I the amount of beer bottles I've got around me. Yeah, I think it's been more out of boredom and seeing things. Of, oh, I've got to get that. I, I, I want to, especially the cloud water beer. I wanted to get that, and I got it. So that's quite. Um, mm. The the dipper, and I've got the bearded lady. And it's so one thing I want to ask. Does anyone know where to get um, version ten? Because my guy who owes me version ten is just taking the piss a bit. Nothing version ten is pretty much gone. Uh, just don't worry about it. He's getting the version eleven. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've already got version 11 ready because he said he's, he's, well, he said he's getting that. You haven't bought it yet. Yeah, he said, he said he's getting that as soon as it comes. I, I get it, and then it's sent down. I, um, think, I think think one of the first online things. I I think Ebra get it first. You put your name down. The kind of thing. I yeah. don't know, then everyone else gets it after. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and where you live, well, you know, and who you know. And... Come on now. <laughs> When they're filling, um, they're filling growlers as well, weren't they, on Saturday, or something? I wasn't privy to that. They, they may, they they may have, have been doing, doing so. They've, they've got lovely growler bags that are about twenty-five quid. They're lovely, lovely object. But yeah, I think they do. Bags. <laughs> Don't think they do a lot of it. Um, mm. That's one thing. I mean, if, on that long kind of like blog that Paul wrote, that I mean, the whole direct sales thing. Mm. I don't think they're quite growler. crap. I don't think they've quite, I don't think they've quite cracked the whole um, growl thing, and I don't think the UK um, beer drinkers fully got the head around the growlers. Yeah, I read something on it the other day. It's um, it was very much saying like with with more and more was it more and more craft beer sort of bottle shops and things come popping up, and um, more sort of. 
It's an interesting view of Craig's head. Um, more yeah, sort of. There's not not as many uh, breweries doing uh, fills that wherever they be at their breweries or, or be <laughs> at the um, be at whatever bar. There's not just not so much goes on compared to the states. I seem to think it was what. Just of well, what I was reading. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. I mean, I, um, when we were in uh, San Francisco, I went and met up with a friend who's from who was from Sheffield, but he lives in Oakland now. So it's been a, a day around Oakland, and we went to um, three breweries. And because he's because dri- he's driving, he can have a little bit here and there. But mm. we, oh, yeah. oh, they're all doing like little tasters, little tasters. So he, he's just he's drinking a couple of tasters here and there. And buying growler fills and, and stocking them up, and that's his weekend. Mm. Um, but it's because growler fills at breweries in America are s- really cheap. But uh, if you go and get a growler fill at, um, at Magic Rock, or if you want to get a big dipper in your two, for your big fucking two litre get um, <laughs> growler, it's going to cost you a big um, jump of change. So, so. Yeah. It's, I think it's part of our drinking culture that has not like caught on quite yet or developed Develop, in that, yeah. that way, I guess. I think they'll get there. But... Mm-hmm. Maybe. But they've got to bring the prices down. Yeah. Three pound a pint. Three pound a pint. <laughs> well, <laughs> God, no. It's, 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 it's when you, if, when you if start... They off, if they can offset costs, I mean, if they're saying, well, we put on this much because of... Like um, staffing and then the bills we've got to pay and stuff like that. If they can knock that off and make it a reasonable kind of like cost, which all kind of adds up, I think people will go for it. Sorry for interrupting. So I think there's a lot of here staking as well with price as well. Um, yeah. I, I saw especially at um, Sturgeon Wines. Was it Sturgeon? No, Crossridge Wines. They had um, even more Jesus, possibly. It could have been even more. I think it was, and they were doing that. It was something like forty-five quid um, for your Jesus. growler fill. I, I don't know how okay. large that was uh, growler, but it was just like taking a piss. And then everything, everything above it was, you know, talking. We were talking twelve to sixteen sort of quid, and that was uh, maybe was it two liters, possibly two liters. But it was just like two liters for forty-five quid. Two liters. Why are you could buying it? two liters of fucking? Even more Jesus, anyway. It's twelve percent. <laughs> Fuck it out. Exactly. Yeah, a, pint, a, pint, a pint was enough last night. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I bought a pint of it for six quid. A pint yeah, of cannabis, yeah. six quid from yeah. um, from Sturgeon Wines, and then they were selling it. I suppose. Uh, straight out of the super duper fresh, even though it's a fucking can anyway. No, no, keg. Um, it's going to be fresh anyway. But it's just like forty six quid. But I'll check the price. Let me just check it. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's around that. I mean, it I was my, something I horrific. My can of uh, Tall Boys in Leeds when I was in September. I see. I know it's a bit more than what you could probably get, but I was like, what the hey, you know? Just someone mm. uh, sitting like have that. Have that. Just, I've saved on postage <laughs> to a degree. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Just go for it. I I'll, think I'll, I'll for it. So, guys, I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'm okay, falling mate. asleep. Yeah. Right, I'll bow out just now and I'll later. catch you guys on the next hangout here. Okay, okay, Take, care. Take care, James. Speak to you later. Yeah. Yeah. So the new guys. Yeah. Looking forward to the McEwen's champion, of course. Judas. I've never had that. No, I, I I saw this the other day when I when I picked up them two 1927 things, and um, I saw this and that Graven Gravenstein or Gravenstein or whatever you call it. I saw this. I thought, oh, I've not seen that before. Um, you know, I've seen Judas before. It's, uh, ah. an, old, old, it's an, old, an old old Belgian classic. Yeah, um, I didn't realise it was part of the uh, Carlsberg group, but. 
Oh, what the? Okay. Um, he, the, yeah, so he, I, I, this bar well, maybe makes you something called Harry's Bar in Wakefield. Um, oh. they, they wouldn't have many bottles, but they'd have. But they always had Judas and bottles of Satan as well. Right. <laughs> and I'm not. I've, had, I've not had yeah. Satan either. But if you want to see a really good interview, a really good video of Simon's, check out his um, his his video of uh, was it Beelzebub? Right. I think it's a all of a kind of really horrendous beer. That's one. That's yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good one. I mean, just before I reviewed it, I, I had a quick check on just to, I mean, more proper pronunciation because I'm shocking at them. So and uh, Stuart and his brother, is my brother Andrew. Had this. How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> yeah. They reviewed it, and I won't be. I w- that's right. right. I wouldn't be checking on the pickers <laughs> to get your, your best pronunciations if, you, if I'm being honest. I'm not, it don't, doesn't bother me. I, I just say it's because I'm from the south. So <laughs> should I get correct, correct, correct pronunciations? I can't, I can't read. read. You know. Um, yeah, it's a good one to hide. No, but it doesn't matter. Judas is pretty easy to pronounce. I was more in trying to pronounce the brewery than... Oh, so that's owned by Carlsberg now. What is it with Carlsberg? It's part of the Carlsberg group, apparently. What is it with yeah. Carlsberg? Oh, They've got like a, a, a yeah. legion of fucking stormtroopers that just go around saying, right, we're having your brewery. Do you like it or not? Yeah. Well, we're it's like, the name. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter to me. I just... If it's something I've not had before, I've or seen before, I've like, oh, this gives me a, a good opportunity to try some of these things because mm. I'm normally into the usual stuff that I... You can't be, selec- you can't be too selective, I guess. That's to Slim try out some of these other... Yeah, but, you know, it gives me a window of opportunity, so otherwise, and if I was at home, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> I've never had it, but I'm thinking Belgian, strong and sweet. Yeah, I mean, there's a few descriptions of this beer saying it's a Belgian strong ale, and then on the oh, bottle it's got. Oh. Yes. And then on the bottle, it's it, on the on the bottle <laughs> it's got um, a blonde. Yeah. It tastes like a. It tastes like a more of a strong kind of, blonde ale or something like that. A strong strong blonde ale, than it's it's eight point five percent. Does it taste a little bit like cough medicine? No, it's not. It's got that Belgian yeast quality going on. It's it's more like a a stronger version of Lefe Blonde kind of thing. Okay. Is that without the carbonation of that? This has calmed down a bit now, so this is more mellow. It's quite nice now. When I reviewed it, it was going mental, and the, the head was going. <laughs> it was just not just reinforcing it. It was it was pushing it over the bloody top. But now it's just like it sorted itself out. You should have done the um, you should have done the uh, review that alongside even more Jesus just to get the Judas yeah, Jesus my thing. <laughs> my missus said that to me yesterday, and I'm like, uh, I didn't want to. That would have been, a, that wanna, been like, a funny ending to the video. <laughs> have you reviewed? I didn't want to load a God. Yeah, I didn't want to load a God Squad after me, so I just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I can be. I can be doing with it. So I, I played it safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did. I did think about it yesterday. I'm like, nah. It would have been a good one. Judas against <laughs> more Jesus. From the, from the, <laughs> that, that, there used to be. The, the, uh, I don't know if you've encountered it in your, as, you, as you guys are a bit newer, but um, everybody used to get a comment um, from this 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 Mormon woman. Um, about uh, like the um, she trolled you for quite a while, t- telling you how you were making bad lifestyle choices and all this business. Yeah, oh, um, and, um, and all this business. Since in 2010 or something. But... Uh, my dear, so yeah, Gareth's been yeah. around for a while as well. So <laughs> yeah, we've all had a, no, I... a comment from crazy mama woman. No, <laughs> no, I haven't. I've I've seen her on like um, I'm a subscriber of Craig Tube and. Oh yeah, something like that, and I've and I've seen her met the bitch on his videos and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, he's like a badge of honor. <laughs> I know exactly really. what you meant when you brought that, that up. crazy mom and woman. Um, crazy mom and comments woman. on your videos. You know you've yeah. kind of, you've you've you made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a comment on, on offer yet. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know what to say. Like, fuck or 
Yeah. <laughs> Why are you commenting on my video? <laughs> I think she was pissed. That's why she, think she thought this is a terrible concept of um, religion. Um, yeah. Hang on. They said what? That's complete bollocks. You <laughs> what? How many? How many wives? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to hit the bricks. I'm gonna be sensible this week. <laughs> Until next time, gents. Take care. Tom, I'll speak to you next. I'll be, I'll be back from the ITV, so. Anyway. Good stuff. See you later. Take, take care, mate. Bye. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone's doing anything on Saturday. Dean, are you thinking of doing anything Saturday or not? Mm, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. If, if you are, I'll mention it today or later. <laughs> yeah. Clearance, clearance time. Um, I mean, I've, I've still got quite a few things I want to review before beforehand and get them out of the way. But, um, I, I did catch some of your last one, uh, Dean. That was it the big the big coalition one. Oh, with uh, with the American guys. Yeah, yeah. I did catch. I, I did want to jump on, but I just I was I just watched on my phone. I could, I wasn't able to jump on, but maybe next time. If, if you're doing yeah, that's all right. Yeah, some it will pop up now and again. I'm doing little bits and pieces with Peter and Taylor. That's good. Again. That's good. I mean, you know, I mean, to to ease the pressure on you and Harry on and, and Peter. I mean, I I'll have to try and learn how to do one of these hangouts as well. Just I've not, yeah. I've never done one before, so it's kind of like oh. yeah. I'll do a, a dry run offline kind of thing, just see, get made around it all, and then. Uh, uh, it was a bit of a landmine. For me to be honest, to begin with, yeah. um, it looks pretty, pretty easy. With all this encoding products and all that, I, I mean, I was talking to Gareth earlier on about this, but you know, you, you just go, you do a live hangout and it bypasses all that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward to get yeah. it around. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've, my internet's okay, but it seems to be, it seems to be worse here than. I mean, what is that? Is that when you get back to Brighty then you, you're thinking of doing that? Yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah. It's probably, you know, when when um, excuse me, that's so gassy, Jesus. Although it's calmed down, this beer is still bloody gassy. Give me the right burps. <laughs> um, yeah, just in case you and Harry and Peter are not around and things happen, if if everyone can, I think if everyone can learn how to do one, it'd be good. Yeah, just just just. To, well, it just helps anyway. I just, you know, just because I haven't got a clue at the moment. I'm like, Dean, can you do it earlier? And I was like, oh, I've no, you know, otherwise I would have done yeah. one, but, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I don't, well, I don't I like just, relying on people. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just like doing like, um, like with Peter, we will we'll do a casual sort of live review of the beer that we can both get hold of. Yeah, I quite like that sort of format. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, it's great. It's great all interacting with you lot, but. When it's when it's like two or three and and you've got the same beer, say, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. yeah, I do like it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I've not to do more of them in the future. Not, yeah, not not not. I mean, I I like to review it as well, so I might get a couple of bottles, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, we're going to do. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces lined up. We're going to do um, a bigger town thing. Uh, Pills and Miracles. We're going to do that a bash. Uh, you have to give um, us a give us a note. August, August, I can't August, get hold of them. Augustina Lager Beer Ah, oh. uh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna have to head off, guys. Um, so I will see you next time. Yeah. So. No worries. <laughs> Cheers, Harry. That's Take right. Um, yeah. I'll um I'll definitely. Be in touch on the uh, Facebook group and stuff. Anyway, cheers, guys. Take yeah, care, mate. See you. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if you, if I mean, let let us know. And I mean, yeah. I don't know if you, whether the missus has any got got anything planned for you. You know what it's like. 
Oh, are we doing this? I didn't fucking know. Can you tell me? You know, I'm that will that, we'll that carry on. At the end of the month. Or a weekend. Um, yeah, 20... Sorry? We're going to Norwich on the 27th for a long weekend. Yeah, Norwich is actually good for yeah. beer. Yeah, I've already got that there, so... My internet is just really crap. I'm right next to the modem, it's shit here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and then we're going to pop into Crazy York on the way home. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your... I, I watched most of your thing the other day, uh, Dean. Although I couldn't take part in it, I, I was actually watching it. Oh, with, with Peter? Yeah, I, I watched. I watched pretty much most of it. Yeah. Up until about eleven o'clock, so I was like, Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um yeah, so that's what I've got planned for the end of this month, which I'm oh, looking the end forward of the to, but nice. Yeah. Yeah, twenty seventh of Jan. Yeah, well it's that's like a birthday sort of thing. That's a Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll go that. down uh Yeah, yeah, that's the day we'll I fly back. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I fly back then and So I think I think the hangout I don't know. Would it be the next weekend after? Probably, yeah. Well, not the weekend. Yeah, not, not the weekend that, that, that this, this this kind of one. Um, it would be the Monday or yeah. the Tuesday. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, whatever. One of them two days. I mean, if it's, if it's Monday, then I might pop on. If it's Tuesday, I, I can't do it. No, I'll, um, I'll be whatever. I, you know, I'd like to involve... As many as yeah, I mean, much as we I can. If, you know? if Monday suits most people, then it's best to do it on Monday, isn't it? I could do both days, so it doesn't. It's yeah. not a problem. So it's like, but yeah. if it incre- increases, getting Peter and you on, yeah. Dino, um, doing yeah. Monday, I, I, I'd rather do it on a Monday, include you, mate, than do it on a Tuesday, and you know, it's bollocks. Yeah, yeah. If we can sort that out, then yeah, we we could talk about it on the thing. So. I like I like to plan ahead, yeah, though. No you know, just so yeah, it's just nice to get some get a few beers. Set in stone also. Yeah, I could get. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be drinking a lot of ace beers on the next one. <laughs> You're gonna be making <laughs> up for it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, in, fa- in, fa- in fairness, what I've had out here this this is my third trip here in the last what probably what fifteen months, and this is by far and away the best quality kind of beers I've reviewed since I've been coming out here. So some of these hobby beers have actually helped. I know they're not on plus having a can of high lie sitting there and that's gonna get me through, you know. <laughs> I, I know the first time, I know that I know the last time I was out here, beginning of last year, late February, which I missed the uh, leads getting together. I was still here. Um I was seriously hop rationed. Big time, and I bought shitloads of beer when I got back, and I just, I think I just kind of hopped myself for death for two weeks. Really <laughs> you really appreciate it when you haven't had any kind of hoppy yeah. beers for a couple of months or so. It's like it's weird how it works. I reckon your, I reckon your palate will be like on point. You'll be like taste it. It'll be tasting everything yeah. for the first time again. It's yeah. I mean, I mean, I've had a certain amount of hops here, but it's not kind of. You get you get more kind of accustomed when you get it all the time. Yeah. It's like anything, I guess. But once you haven't, it's like, oh, come on. I mean, the last beer I've got after this one is um, it's really good. It's probably the best Portuguese kind of craft beer I've had since I've been out here. Um, 